Well, in Quebec, a grocery store chain has taken the leap online. Customers with a computer and access to the internet can do their food shopping right at home. No long aisles, no long lineups. Here's Mark Kelly on a unique kind of cyber market. Let's look in the fridge and see what Jenny Davies is a working mom with hungry kids and an empty fridge. Eggs. Eggs. She used to dread going grocery shopping, but not anymore. Hey, bananas. Yeah, bananas. Now she prepares her list, heads over to her computer, and lets her fingers do the shopping. This is the Cyber Market, IGA's new internet shopping service, the only one of its kind in North America. So pasta, small shells, I'll take a package of those. Punches in her order, makes sure they slice her ham thin the way she likes it, then sends it off by computer. The service costs $3, and for an extra 4 bucks, they'll deliver it. Groceries are very boring and monotonous, and I'd rather stay home and play with my kids and go do groceries. So I can, you know, do the groceries after they go to bed at night. It takes me 10 minutes, I'm done. Now we can play. So while right. Jenny Davy spends a little quality wanna, time with the kids, with the team at the cyber store gets down to work, scanning the shelves, filling out her fruit order, and slicing that ham just so. In two months, 2,000 customers have gone cyber shopping, and IGA's Pierre Sevigny expects even more. In a couple of years, or two or three years from now, we could easily see from uh, 2,000 to uh, 100,000. Well, that may be optimistic, because in order to get into the cyber store, you have to get onto the internet, and only 4% of Quebec homes are actually hooked up to the net. And internet or not, many people say cyber shopping can never replace the real thing. And for serious shoppers, it takes more than fingertips on your keyboard to choose the food for your table. If it doesn't smell like a tomato, I don't buy it. I wouldn't accept that. I'm very fussy. I'm very touchy. Internet shopping is ideal for logical and organized people who know exactly what they want. It's not for everyone. This analyst says IGA is appealing to the cream of the shopping crop. If you think about the kind of people who are likely to be very technologically inclined and to have the right equipment at home, that's a very high income group, okay? A group who tends to spend a little more lavishly on groceries, and so it's worth it to supermarkets to go after that segment. Hello. Hi. After a long day at work, Jenny Davies' groceries arrive at her door. The kids are happy, mom got her ham, and when they run out, all they have to do is log on for more. Mark Kelly, CBC News, Montreal.